In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. It seems appropriate on this day to wear the new diocesan vestment with its Marian theme of the blue, Our Lady being, of course, the patron of our diocese. I begin by thanking Bishop Richard for making sure that they made a shorter one for me. I'm grateful for, for that care. As an appropriate day to wear it because it is the dedication of the Basilica of St. Mary Major in Rome. We will have the normal readings in order to keep that continuity, but we come to reflect on that title of the Mother of God. We come to receive, as Jesus gave us at the cross, that gift of his mother. We reflect too on the gift he gave us at the cross of forgiveness and of mercy, we recognize our need. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. This Mass is being offered for the intention of Machiavelli Parker, so let us pray. Pardon the faults of your servants, we pray, O Lord that we who cannot please you by our own deeds may be saved through the intercession of the mother of your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. From the prophet Jeremiah. I will be the God of all the clans of Israel. It is the Lord who speaks. They shall be my people. The Lord says this. They have found pardon in the wilderness. Those who have survived the sword. Israel is marching to his rest. The Lord has appeared to him from afar. I have loved you with an everlasting love. So I am constant in my affection for you. I build you once more. You shall be rebuilt, virgin of Israel. Adorned once more, and with your tambourines you will go out dancing gaily. You will plant vineyards once more on the mountains of Samaria. The planters have done their planting. They will gather the fruit. Yes, a day will come when the watchmen shout on the mountains of Ephraim, Up, let us go to Zion, to the Lord, to our God. For the Lord says this, Shout for joy, Jacob. Hail the chief of nations. Proclaim, praise, shout. The Lord has saved his people, the remnant of Israel. The word of the Lord. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. O nations, hear the word of the Lord. Proclaim it to the far off coasts. Say, he who scattered Israel will gather him and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, has saved him from an overpowering hand. They will come and shout for joy on Mount Zion. They will stream to the blessings of the Lord. Then the young girls will rejoice and dance. The men, young and old, will be glad. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console them, give gladness for grief. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. By 
his own choice, the Father made us his children by the message of the truth that we should be a sort of first fruits of all that he created. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus left Genezareth and withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. Then out came a Canaanite woman from that district and started shouting, Sir, son of David, take pity on me. My daughter is tormented by a devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples went and pleaded with him, Give her what she wants, they said, because she is shouting after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman had come up and was kneeling at his feet. Lord, she said, help me. He replied, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the house dogs. She retorted, Ah, yes, sir. But even the house dogs can eat the scraps that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, you have great faith. Let your wish be granted. And from that moment, her daughter was well again. The Gospel of the Lord. have mentioned when referring to the vestment earlier that the motif which is down uh, the front uh, is actually taken from the front of the altar uh, in Arundel Cathedral, uh, the mother church of the diocese. A lovely link to have, but of course it's very easy sometimes to get distracted uh, by buildings. As we celebrate the dedication of the Basilica of St. Mary Major in Rome, it would be easy to distract by that building. And indeed, I recognize over the years, I've made that mistake, speaking too much about the building and its history and its beauty. The focus of the memoria is the dedication of the Basilica. The Council of Ephesus in 431 formally proclaimed uh, the mother of Jesus as the mother of God. The now Basilica of St. Mary Major uh, on the hill there in Rome was built shortly afterwards to celebrate that motherhood and it's said, though disputed, that it is the oldest church in the West dedicated to Our Lady. But it's more than the building. It's about the prayer that takes place there, about the way in which the people gather, about the way in which we're invited to raise our eyes above, as it were, the things of this world, and look to heaven. Pope Francis has made that basilica almost his second home. I forget, I think it's like something like 75, 76, uh, many pilgrimages he's made there since he's been Pope. and He's developed a great devotion to the icon which is there, very appropriate icon uh, for these weeks, the icon of Our Lady of Health. And in one of his last homilies in the Basilica before the lockdown, though uh, far enough in advance that the, the pandemic and the lockdown wasn't recognized as coming, he spoke about the way in which we bring our troubles to the Mother of God. They are words that actually work well for us now, speak powerfully in the midst of this pandemic as we pray for health. But Francis said, the wisdom that comes to us from far off helps us. The mother protects the faith, safeguards relationships, saves those in storms and preserves them from evil. Where our mother is present, turmoil does not prevail, fear does not conquer. 
Which of us does not need this? Which of us is not sometimes distressed or anxious? How often our heart is a stormy sea where the waves of our problems pile up and the winds of our troubles do not stop blowing. Mary is our secure ark in the midst of the flood. It will not be ideas or technology that will give us comfort or hope, but our mother's face, her hands that caress our life, her mantle that gives us shelter. Let us learn how to find refuge going each day to our mother. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spirit children. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this feast of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, 
we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other that sign of Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
having been made partakers of this spiritual food, we pray, O Lord our God, that steadily imitating the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always be found intent on service of the Church and may know the joys of doing your will through Christ our Lord. Father. 